Hey guys, so going off of the comments of what you guys talked about in my Supernatural Merry Christmas review, you guys were talking about how Supernatural's coming back, and then just this interview with uh, Capsule New Zealand. There's that one little tidbit that Jensen Ackles talks about is how the last two episodes, the first one, episode 19, is the season finale, and then episode 20 is the series finale. There's two things to take away from this. The first being, you realize how much Jensen lowers his voice when he talks as Dean, how much brooding he does in comparison to his actual voice. It surprises me every time how actually soft of a voice he has considering how much he has to do this when he's talking as Dean. So the other part though is this concept, this idea that the storyline of this season is going to end on the 19th episode and the show is going to end on the 20th episode. Part of me is kind of torn about that because one, that's actually a good idea to have an episode purely dedicated to the ending of the show, the ending of the series. However, I kind of worry that it might be nothing more than just a complete fan service sploosh. Just reference, reference, reference this person, this person, this person, and that's kind of okay. But in terms of a show like this, I, I don't want a ride down nostalgia lane unless it's done with a meaningful purpose. If you want a really good example of how a show could end well. The actual last episode of Scrub, Zach Braff kind of meeting with all the friends, meeting with his colleagues who are still there. They are talking about where they're gonna be going in their future because everyone's going off in different directions, but then there's the ending where he just sees this presentation of what the future will hold for his family, his himself, his friends, and it's all to Peter Gabriel, and oh my, God, it makes me cry still watching it. I have never been impacted so much by an, the ending of a show in a long time. I literally didn't get that goddamn ending out of my head for months. So I'm hoping if they do something in a similar sort of cinematics, retelling a homage, recapture the moment sort of means of how the show will end, I hope they do it respectfully and they do it in this kind of sense rather than just complete fan service for the sake of fan service. But then for the idea that the 19th episode, being the season finale, has not shot yet, they only shot what one or two days of it, and they have had effectively, since March, five months to think about how they should end it. They have no excuse now if it's shit. Sure that they've probably set themselves up in a way that certain things cannot be changed. I just really hope that it's not a season 14 finale where you just shoehorn the deus ex machina into the last 10 minutes. You start the episode right and you continue that and you build it, you use what you have established and you end it on a proper means, on a narrative structure means. Don't fuck it up. I could say it's not that hard, but really at this point, I'm just begging for something that isn't shit. I'm just begging for something that's well written. I'm begging for something that makes sense in terms of how the finality of the shows biggest villain, being God, is defeated, replaced, humbled. I just don't want it to be bad, and they've had so long to work on both this episode and the supposed series finale episode, they don't have an excuse. You don't get a chance like this to really think about your script, to rewrite your faults, to see, hey, maybe that's kind of stupid. But the other thing too is now that they've gone back to work and they've started doing the post on the other five episodes that they already shot, do not expect the next episode to be groundbreaking. Just because we've had this massive period of time in terms of us not watching a Supernatural episode, this was supposed to be just another one in the cog. So it's not gonna be like, oh my God, Supernatural's back, everything's great again. I'm expecting a decent, maybe even mediocre, unless this actually has something to do with the finale. It's going to be absolutely hysterical if we start the next episode with a goddamn filler episode. However, if I'm correct, we finished with that one with the pool game. It's been so long now, I actually can't even remember what the last episode of Supernatural was. I might have been wrong there. But those are my thoughts on this interview. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link to the official interview in the description below. I'm making sure to put that link in the description because the version that I watched first was actually a re-upload. I didn't even realize it. How petty are you to re-upload an interview from 
a different channel. Like, this is garbage that people did with Machinima episodes back in the early days of YouTube. So I can't believe that it hasn't been striked because that's, that's garbage. Watch the original interview, support the original channel, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.